<laughs> hey, my friends. All right, guys, that. I'm going to do my thoughts and review on UFC on Fuel TV 10, uh, Minotaur Noguera versus Fabricio Verdum. And um, I, tuned in th I tuned into this last night, and um, I didn't really know that much of the people on the fight card. I mean, Tiago Silva, that's pretty much it. I didn't really know anybody else. Um, but... I'm just going to talk about the main event because I didn't really know anybody. And I forgot who Tiago faced anyways, but Tiago won anyways. So, um, I I was going for Minotaro, but I kind of knew that um, Fabricio was going to get his revenge on him. And Minotaro's getting old, but he's still a bad dude. And, and so, you know, I I really didn't know. I was, thought it was going to be a good fight. So, you know, these guys are heavyweight, so they're not really that fast. They're going to go slow and everything. And, um... The first round, they weren't doing that much. They were pushing up against the cage a lot. And then by the second round, Fabricio ends up getting Minotaur on an arm bar. And I was like, I couldn't tell if it was light. And then he was like, he was cranking on. I'm like, ooh. And I was like, what's going to happen? And like, they turned the camera the other way. So his arm was like that, but you couldn't see it. And then, and then like the ref got in the way. And then like, he just like stand up and started cheering. I was like, whoa, it's already over. So, um... Then they played it on the replay from a different angle, and what ended up happening is that I saw him get him in the armbar, and it looked tight. So, um, Fabricio Verdum actually got his revenge on Minotaur and Ogether. They faced last time in 2006 in Pride Food, and uh, Minotaur won. Uh, and he said that he'd get better, and Minotaur said he's got better, and... Um, on my channel day, I accidentally said a Little Nog was in action. It was actually Big Nog, so sorry about that. And, yeah... Guys, that's pretty much really all the review to get. I mean, this wasn't really interesting at all. I mean, I give this about um, four or five. I mean, because these, and I give it, I give it about a five and a half maybe because um, some of the fights were pretty good, but they were lasting uh, pretty fast. There was only like uh, two fights that like went into the second round. The other ones were like ending in the first round. But there were submissions. There was a lot of submissions in this one. And, yeah, I give it about five and a half because I like Noguera. I love the Noguera brothers. So, and we got next week, we got Dan Henderson versus Rashad Evans. I can't wait for that fight. I'm going to go for Dan Henderson. And um, and then the main event is also uh, Little Nog. Not Big Nog this time. His Little little Nog is going to be in action with uh, Shogun Rua. And I'm going to have to go for Shogun on this one. I, I just think he's going to beat him. So, Shogun and Dan for the win and they had great fights too so yeah guys that's pretty much all the review kind of short um my thoughts my thoughts on it was just a five probably and that's just your review man i mean uh comment if you liked it i it was just like a, eh all right but you know it wasn't like oh okay yeah it was all right but yeah guys next pay-per-view should be great and um be stay tuned for um Next Saturday when I do my thoughts and review on UFC 161, and I'll do that. And also, go, try, go watch my channel update to keep updated, and I will see you guys later. Bye.